In this video, I will show you how you can easily convert a Procreate brush into a vector brush in Illustrator. To begin, I will select the brush I want to convert, and I will choose the Sticks brush. And then let's increase the size of this brush. I'll do something around 25, 24%. And then you want to draw out your brush in a horizontal line. And this will be important for converting this in Illustrator. And then I will also just add another brush. This time I will choose Little Pine. And again, just draw out your brush in a horizontal line. Then once you have the brush styles that you want to convert, choose the wrench icon at the top left, share, and I will choose a JPEG. If you're working on a Mac, you can airdrop this. Otherwise, if you're on PC, you can just email yourself this image. So now in Illustrator, let's select the image that we imported, go to our image trace dropdown. You can choose high fidelity photo, but I personally like the black and white logo, and then just hit OK. So now our texture is a vector, but we did lose some detail. So to bring some of that detail back, let's go to our image trace panel, go to our advanced dropdown and increase our paths because we want this to be a tight image trace. Leave the corners at default and then I will just decrease noise to one pixel. And then let's check ignore color and make sure this is white. So any white in this image is not converted into a vector. And then we can just click expand. Uh, let's close this and then let's ungroup these two brushes or brush textures and then group each of these brushes individually. Now with the direct selection tool we can see how many anchor points we have so let's go to object path and simplify and then we want to decrease the amount of anchor points because this file will be huge if we use this brush. So let's just decrease our simplify curve a little bit around 50%. And then I will also decrease the angle threshold just a little bit here. So now we reduce the amount of anchor points by roughly 5,000 points. And now we can hit OK. Let's grab our selection tool and then select this brush texture. Let's go up to our brushes and then choose the plus icon to make a new brush. And then let's go ahead and select our art brush and then hit OK. I'll name this sticks, which is the name of the brush in Procreate. And then under our colorization method, we want to change this to tint, which will allow us to change the color of the brush. Leave everything else as default and then just hit OK. So let's grab our brush tool and make sure that our new brush is selected. And then we can go ahead and start drawing out our paths to use our new brush. And really quick, if I press Ctrl or Command on Mac plus D and Shift, you'll see our transparency grid. And that is thanks to ignoring white in our image trace panel. Now with our brush drawn out, we can make some changes by using our direct selection tool and moving some of these anchor points around. And if you want to increase or decrease the size of this brush, you just need to increase or decrease your stroke point size. Now let's change the color of our brush by going to our swatches, going to our libraries, and then I will choose the default swatches and select art and illustration. And then I will choose a light blue color. Now let's go to our brush tool and then just draw out another path. And then this time let's choose a red or orange color. Then let's select both of our brush strokes and then go to our transparency panel. And then we can change the blending mode from normal to multiply. And that will give us more of a organic or natural brush overlay look. And then let's make this red more of an orange color. And then as you can see, the blending mode multiply makes it look more authentic to brush paints overlapping each other, similar to like mixing paint. And that is how you can easily convert a Procreate brush into a vector brush in Illustrator. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, make sure to leave a thumbs up and subscribe. It helps a lot to support the channel and to continue making content like this. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.